the world of nutritional science is inundated with thousands, millions of little tricks and tidbits that various people swear by to help maintain a healthy weight or to advance weight loss progress. And, you know, sometimes these things even have some efficacy behind them. But in my experience, they can often overcomplicate what is, what is really a very simple process of maintaining healthy body weight. And I wanted to use one example to illustrate this and that's the idea that using a smaller plate will help you to reduce how much food you're eating and therefore lose weight. So there is some research that suggests that portion sizes are often selected to fill our plate. And it has been observed that when capacity is not a constraint, we will consistently serve ourselves more food. Now, this idea is based on uh, something called the Delboeuf illusion. This is where two identical circles placed side by side will appear to be different sizes when surrounded by larger circles of differing sizes. Um, and the idea is the same will work for food. Now, although this may appear obvious, you know, if you have less space, you can't fill your plate with as much food. You know, simple, right? But the interesting part is the research um, suggests that perceived fullness or perceptions of satiety will differ across plate sizes. For, so the same amount of food served on different sized plates will influence someone's perception of satiety. So, for example, this randomized control trial found that plate size had significant effect on both estimated satiety and estimated intake of food in healthy weight individuals. Now, this influence may also transfer to bowl weight. And these researchers finding that a heavier bowl contributed to expected satiety, perceived density, and subsequent expected fullness. Now, this effect has been shown to be particularly notable in children, with this study showing that larger bowls cause children to consume 52% more and waste 26% more food. Now, interestingly, this behavior has also been seen in chimpanzees. Now, that's not necessarily relevant uh, for our purposes, but I thought it was interesting. Now, the problem arises in the fact that although the research is, is interesting, um, it's not necessarily particularly convincing or even consistent. Uh, in the above trial, the effects were only seen in healthy weight individuals, so not in people who are overweight or obese. So this suggests that while it may be a useful tool for maintaining a healthy weight, it may not have much efficacy as a tool for weight loss. Um, another trial found that plate size did not significantly influence total calorie intake, but as a little bonus, it did promote the consumption of more vegetables. However, the effects don't seem to be present when subjects are extremely hungry suggesting that this method may only be useful for sort of routine eating and not for subjects who have, you know, been on a fast or, you know, a, a particularly hungry for one eating occasion. Now, further to all of this, more recent evidence has come to the front to suggest that the past research may have overestimated the effect considerably. In fact, uh, they found in their trial that the difference in consumption to be only about 3%. So statistically significant, yes, but hardly groundbreaking. So what does this all mean? Well, your choice of container, bowl or plate may have a slight influence on how much you serve yourself. So, you know, it could be a useful trick uh, to help you be mindful of uh, that might influence your eating behavior. But it is in no way a sort of miracle fix-all cure for better health 
and weight loss. The problem I had with this, as I mentioned earlier, is that as you can see from the research, you know, the evidence is, is pretty conflicting and, and really not particularly convincing. However, I've come across many, many individuals who uh, pronounce this trick of using a smaller plate to be some wonderful piece of evidence and advice they could give someone helping them to lose weight. And I feel that this is indicative of a larger problem faced by the field of nutrition. And that is that people are inundated with so much kind of slightly useful or half true information that it makes them unable to see the forest from the trees. And tricks like this, using a smaller plate, are really icing on the cake sort of stuff. And, you know, if things are going really well and you need a little something extra, sure. But what I've noticed is that they can in a way replace or supplant actual useful uh, eating patterns and behaviors. Now, maintaining a healthy weight or even losing weight in the absence of any medical or health conditions is actually very simple. Now, it's not necessarily easy. Uh, it can take a lot of willpower and it can sometimes take a lot of time, but it's definitely simple. You really just need to eat nutritionally rich food and refrain from eating excess calories. And my advice would be don't allow little tricks and tidbits like this to complicate the situation and get in the way of your real progress. I hope that helps. Thanks for listening and feed the life you want to lead. Bye.